Hello everyone, I'm Karius, and it's been a while since I've made a video, and there are several good reasons for that. Crippling depression, mostly because I've moved. See the workbench behind me is brand new, and so are all of these. But anyway, that's beside the point. There will be a video about my workshop eventually, but everything's still coming together. So I moved down to Atlanta, and I've been focused on that and haven't really made anything new or had any time to do videos. I um, went to Anwar and had fun there, but I'm about ready to get back into the swing of things, and I figured I'd start with this commission. That I just finished. So this, just in case you can't tell, is a Halo assault rifle made out of a Boomco Halo rifle and a Raven. Let's turn on all the goodies. See, there's a voltmeter here next to the switch and an ammo counter because, of course, if you're gonna put this much effort into a Halo rifle, you gotta actually do that ammo counter and a pretty good flashlight. That was probably very bright. <laughs> Complete with LEDs on both sides that kind of match the original rifle's design. It's got these little green lights on it. You can see on this, we've got a three-way switch that I can switch to two different settings. And it'll either go off the LiPo battery power, which this is 2S, and you can also switch it over to a 9 volt in which case all the lights and the ammo counter and everything is running off the 9-volt battery. The motors are still running off of the LiPo, but the whole purpose of this is that you can take the LiPo battery out and then it is no longer a functional blaster, but all of the, all of the extra goodies still work so you can use it as a cosplay prop, which was the original intent of this commission. So. The guy who wanted it wanted it to be a legal cosplay blaster as well as a functional nerf blaster. So, so there's quite a lot of interesting wiring challenges with this thing. The lipo battery goes up here. I just used the the flap from the Boomco magazine as a real easy battery door. There we go. Got an actual flashlight. Replace the fake plastic. Flashlight. Let me actually turn it back on. There we go. Which is a pretty crazy 9 volt bulb that I slammed in there. You can actually adjust the focus. I don't know what that looks like in the camera. So that turned out really well. The rocker switch on this side is for the flashlight, and the one on this side turns the LEDs and the ammo counter off if for some reason you don't want those on or you can just turn them off at this switch and the flywheels will still work. So if you don't want any of the lights on, you can just turn them all off at the main switch and it still will fire. Um, so this is a Raven with a full auto kit and dual stage flywheels. Um, instead of trying to make it work with over a, with almost two feet of extra barrel in front of the flywheel cage, I just stuck a second stage here for reliability more than anything. In an identical cage to here, they're, they're both containment crew ABS cages because containment crew's cages are just better because they're not printed in PLA. If you try to run fang revamps really hot in a PLA cage, it's going to melt them. So let's actually fire it. Get the ammo counter back on. Oh, no, this switch. There we go. So it is a Hooligan Raven Full Auto Kit powering the back of this thing. You can see the ammo counter is working. Um, I forget if it was set to 18 when I started or 12. Probably 18. Let's see if it actually lines up. Yep. Yep, it was 18. And of course, this is the regular. This is an ammo. This is a version 3 ammo counter from Ammo Counter, Nathaniel. Um, and it works just the same. All I did was uh, 
um, wire it directly to the power sources and cut down the 3D printed housing so that I could fit it in the into the uh, Boomco blaster. So now I will probably cut to a ton of internal pictures and a little bit more commentary by myself to show you what all went into this. Um, the blaster itself has been on my bench for months as I've been working on this. Um, it would have been a lot faster if I wasn't also moving as I was working on this and having a workshop that is just a giant mess of tools and boxes where I can't find anything really slowed me down too, but it came together. Um, I learned a ton of new stuff on this project. Um, for starters, I tried a lot of tricks from Mr. Nathan on integrating and um, started with DevCon as the main bonder and then used epoxy sculpt to clean up all the lines and that worked fantastically. But I also learned a lot about wiring. Um, there's basically two power circuits in this blaster so that you can run all the lights and everything on, a, on two different power sources while also having the flywheels work properly but not trying to run the flywheels off the 9 volt battery which is not going to be a which is not going to end well. Um, and so we've got the 9 volt back here and then the light bulb back up here and then there's this, this wiring mess which I'll show you some pictures of throughout the entire blaster. Took a while to get everything fitted together. Um, it does actually have <laughs> a Nerf barrel attachment that works because why not? I had the one from the Raven, might as well move it forward. Um, I filled in every gap in the Boomco blaster with extra parts from the Raven or extra scrap plastic I had. Like on this side, we've got some Raven bits with a tack rail. And in the front, we have a piece of plastic I folded and drilled a hole through to cover this whole thing and it turned out pretty well. Everything else is filled in with epoxy sculpt. Um, you can see I blended the back of the Boomco blaster onto the back of the Raven and took some parts from the Magwell just kind of make these lines look a little better. And of course this right here came from a Firefly. I wanted to try to smooth out the transition to the Magwell, kind of like, because the actual Halo assault rifle goes straight from handle all the way to the stock, but since you've got the mag release and all the extra bits from the Raven here, you can't just smooth the whole thing out without completely making your own show. So I kind of went for a compromise there. The main thing I did with the um, the combination of the Boom Co-Blaster and the Raven is um, just try to fix up the weird crappy proportions that the Boom Co-Blaster has originally. Um, in particular, the trigger, which is supposed to be here in line with the grip in the assault rifle, being way down here on the Boom Co-Blaster. And so I set the Raven up into the Boom Co Blaster, and it just happened that if you do that, the barrel also lines up where the barrel should be. So when I when I lined the trigger up where I wanted it to kind of match the actual shape, it all just worked out and lined up really nicely. It's got a completely weird combination of random motors in here. Um, the first cage is Fang revamped motors on 2S. Um, I believe it's Hooligan wheels that I had. And the second one is more just for reliability than for extra power. It is Honey Badgers with some stock flywheels. I think it was the Ravens flywheels, both in a 42 millimeter cage. And with that combination, it fires reliably. I was really worried about getting a bunch of darts jammed in this huge barrel, and then it's really hard to unjam it when you don't even have the Raven jam door anymore. It's there's a lot of space up here that you can't easily get to. Oh, don't tell me. But now it fires really well every time. The motor driving the Hooligan Raven kit is actually a Titan Hyperion. So we've got motors from three different companies in this blaster. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that worked really well as the pusher motor. After I finally got the Raven auto kit working, there was a lot of custom plastic work to get that pusher really working reliably. 
had a lot of trouble for some reason. Like it was, the entire pusher assembly was torquing and bending and not lining up correctly. And it would eventually get stuck and then pop the uh, drive gear right out of the um, gearbox. And it was just a mess. I ended up actually going through two full auto kits, getting it to work. And, um, but now it works flawlessly, so good. So yeah, it's, it's a crazy blaster. It's a dual stage Raven Halo rifle integration with an ammo counter, four LEDs, three different switches, if you not even counting the trigger and the rev switch, um, two different power sources with a switch you can switch between them, the voltmeter, a full auto kit, and a flashlight, which I like how the flashlight came out just because it's so bright. <laughs> that was a, I just found a bulb on Amazon that worked for the right voltage. It was like a flashlight replacement bulb, and I spliced that into a different flashlight that I had that I cut through and, and mounted into the um, foregrip. The thing is super comfortable. It shoulders really nicely with the because it's got the, the Boonco stock on it. So it doesn't feel a little tiny like a raven. It's got this extra length here, and then the foregrip is real nice. It is just it's just super comfy. So as you can also see, the paint job on this thing is fairly basic. It's just black for all the black bits, and then gray for the entire body. And that's because the recipient of this blaster is going to be painting it himself, and he just wanted me to put a base coat on it, which is fine with me because painting is not my strong suit. And this the the guy who bought this. Um, his primary hobbies are like miniature painting and stuff, so he's he's gonna have a lot better luck painting this than I would. And I look forward to seeing what he does with it. But I also look forward to getting this out of my house because it was such a long project that has taken forever. FPS mode. Da 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 da. closest you're going to get to a workshop tour until everything's all organized. Alright, well I hope you've enjoyed this look at my Halo assault rifle. It will be shipping out to its new owner very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video and until then this has been Carius reminding you to have fun. Let's try that again. Now that that's holding it. Oh, yes. It's finally working. Now I just need to do a lot more work.